Hello kids, welcome to Insane Body Science. My name is Miss Carmen and I'm here to answer every child's burning question, which is why? Why doesn't my mommy want me to eat sugar? Why doesn't my mommy want me to have candy? Aren't your parents fussing at you all the time? Don't eat this snack, don't eat that snack. No, you can't have any more Skittles. So the deal is, I want to help you understand why. And if you want to shove your parents out of the room, that's okay, because guess what? They don't know, but you're going to actually go teach them something. They thought they were sneakily putting you in here to learn something, but we're going to share a couple of secrets, and then you're going to go out there and teach your own parents something, okay? So, what is our goal? Isn't every child's goal to build a healthy body, right? Don't you want to have fun and be able to run and laugh and play with your friends? I mean, fun is the name of the game, right? So how do we do that? Through pop proper nutrients and plenty of exercise. But there's still the same burning questions always circulating. Why can't I have the donut? Why can't I have the cookies and crackers, mom? Why are you keeping me from all these brightly colored foods that look really yummy? Well, there's an answer to that. And so my job is to answer, why can you not have all these sugars? And it's not that you can't have sugars at all. Here's the little secret, okay? There's a very big secret, and this is what you're going to learn today. Who has ever heard of a type of cell in the body? If you look at my friend Bob over here, I brought my friend Bob. Now, he's very shy, so don't laugh at him. He forgot his clothes today. He did not know it was a dress down day. He thought it was an undress day, and he came to school with no clothes on. But, oh, and he also wears his liver in the wrong spot. His liver belongs down here. So now Bob is ready to be our demonstration buddy. So I want you to think about Bob when we talk about a couple of things. Now we're going to have a guessing game so everybody have their best brains on and have your good listening ears in. Are you ready? Okay. Shout out if you can think of a type of cell you've ever heard of in the body. And you can kind of cheat and look at Bob's body parts. If you know something that you see that looks familiar like, what's this big pink thing? It's our lung, right? So everybody has two lungs in them. Miss Carmen has two lungs and my lungs help me breathe. And guess what? These lungs are made up of trillions and trillions of cells. And then we have this beautiful thing in the middle. What is this? <gasps> oh, we can't rip his heart out. He won't be able to pump blood through his body, right? That's what your heart does. It pumps blood through your body. And we have blood cells, right? I did hear a blood cell. I knew somebody was gonna say blood cell. And what about this big gray thing up here? Does anybody know what that big gray thing is? Right, that's your brain. You've got brain cells. And how about this stuff that holds all your bones and muscles together in your body? What's this big organ called? It's your skin. And do you have skin cells? Sure you do. How about you have liver cells? Here's your liver. Here's your stomach. You've got a spleen. You've got a gallbladder. You've got all these super fun things in the body. You've got a pancreas. You've got your intestines. You've got Let's, you've got your bladder, yes, no laughing now, that is definitely your bladder and that's where all the waste comes out. Everybody likes to giggle about the pumpkin down there. But again, if you think about your body and you are made up of a trillion cells, and this represents a cell, do you think that cells are going to be important in your body? You bet they are. These are the basic building blocks of every piece of your foundation. If you want to build a healthy body that's going to have fun and thrive and run and play and jump and just be hysterical, you're going to need some cells, right, to be very healthy. So you're like, well, Miss Carmen, okay, I get it. So cells are important. But what's the big deal about sugar? Well, here's what happens with sugar. Sugar is, okay, so I have my little water tube, uh, and it's not a horn, and I know some of you laughed at that, but that's, Miss Johnson did not make a silly body noise. That was actually me blowing through the tube. So here's what happens. And see, I like to be silly, so y'all can laugh and have fun with this, but also think about what I'm saying. So you've got this body full of trillions of cells, right? And your cells are in search of something really yummy to eat, like, oh, I found some asparagus. Oh, I found some Brussels sprouts. Oh, I just ate a strawberry. And all those yummy things go into your cell to give it nutrients so that you have lots of energy and you're healthy and you grow big and strong and healthy. But what happens when you put a bunch of sugar in? Well, here's my friend Play-Doh. And Play-Doh is going to represent all the sugar that we eat. So, children have a limit. 
I need to flip to my limit chart here. This, if you look on this board, children have a limit of, they should have no more than 16 grams of added sugar per day. Now that's by the American Heart Association. All these doctors got together and determined what was an appropriate amount for children. And for grown-ups, the amount is 32 grams of added sugar a day, but for you as a child, you should have no more than 16 grams of sugar. So when you look on a carton, say, of Lucky Charms, you guys are probably starting to learn how to look for sugars. And when you go down the side, you see the word sugar. And there are 10 grams of sugar in one little quarter cup of Lucky Charms. Well, you might say, well, Miss Johnson, that doesn't sound like a lot, right? But maybe you had Lucky Charms for breakfast and then you had a Rice Krispie treat in your snack, right? And this is another eight grams. So now you're up to 18 grams with these two items. And then you go play soccer after school and you're super thirsty and your mommy and daddy got you uh, one of these sports drinks, and I won't mention any names, and this one has about, let's see, 21 sugars, but there are two servings, so there's 42 sugars here. Even with these three things, do you think you're now on sugar overload? Yes, that's like 40, that's 50, that's 60 grams of sugar, and that's not all you had today, right? That's way too much sugar. So the point is, Miss Johnson, what does sugar do in our body? Well, remember your cells. You've got 70 trillion of these cells all floating in your body, building up your brain, building up your lung capacity, making your stomach work properly, making all kinds of body functions happen. So you have all these cells that are so important and it's your job to feed them. But what if you're feeding them sugar? Lots and lots and lots of sugar. Well, here's what happens. You take that, it's like sugar taking a big wad of Play-Doh or bubble gum and just sticking it on the end of a straw. Well, now, do you think your cell is able to get proper nutrition? Is it able to find the good vegetables and fruits and all that that, it, that you're putting into your system? No, because you got too many Skittles and Starburst and sodas and Twizzlers and all those yummy things and Oreos, all these different food items in you that have a lot of sugar. They're blocking your cells. So that's one reason that your mommy and daddy are so cautious about how many sugars you eat. They don't know how to necessarily explain that to you, and so that's why Miss Carmen is here. That's how I learned it. And the other thing about sugar, has anybody ever played Pac-Man? Raise your hand if you've played Pac-Man. Yes? Okay, so Pac-Man, you know how Pac-Man goes in search of little different fruits and veggies and pretzels and stuff? Well, inside your body, your pancreas, Pointing over here, the pancreas under here, your pancreas is what produces all your Pac-Man. And so your Pac-Man are going out there and they're looking for sugar and a glob of sugar's there and Pac-Man takes it and takes it out of the body. But if you put in a lot of sugar, what do you think is going to happen? If you have a lot of sugar balls in your body, you're going to have to produce a lot of Pac-Man, right? Well, this one can't, this one Pac-Man can't take care of all that. So what happens is your pancreas actually burns out. It's called pancreatic poop out. Now I know that's a funny name, but your pancreas just gets exhausted and that's when you can develop diabetes. So that's the link between sugar, why should I not have sugar, and what's my limit for sugar. So for a kid, you need to watch your limit and try to keep it under 16 grams of added sugar a day. So if you're eating something from nature, you don't have to count that, right? If it's something that grew on a tree or came off a plant, that's fine. But if it came out of a factory, like these boxed and these boxed and bottled things, those are the items that you start adding up the sugars on, and you would be surprised at how much sugar overload you're on. Again, one of those little sprinkly donuts from the Harris Teeter probably has 12 to 18 grams of sugar, and that is not all you've had that day. So you really want to be cautious about the number of sugars that you're eating, and I wanted to show you a picture of what happens. This can happen if you're eating too many sugars. You could fall asleep in your sandwich. I'm serious. You could have a fight with your brother and sister because you're too moody. Your, your body just doesn't like all that sugar in it. Or you could just be flat out exhausted and you really haven't done a whole lot. So, again, the point is let's have fun. And I'm trying to find one last slide because this is important. Oh. That's Miss Carmen when she wakes up. I am serious. Who looks like that kitty when they wake up? If you're eating a lot of sugar, you're gonna look like kitty a lot. <laughs> and kitty doesn't look happy, okay? And here's the other thought. Who's ever been to a water park? You know how the buckets, they fill up, fill up, fill up with water, and then what happens? Pshh, the water splashes all over you and it's great fun. 
Well, guess what? That same thing happens inside your body. And you have a bucket inside your body that's taking all the toxins in and all the sugars in. And it's just housing all of these things that aren't very good for you. It's taking in the Pop-Tarts. And so this bucket is taking in the cans of soda, right? All these things that have dyes and chemicals and sugars. And at some point, you know what? Your bucket's gonna spill over too. And that's why you don't wanna eat all of these packaged processed things. You wanna to try to eat things from nature. So that's the short and skinny, and I would ask you to very lovingly go talk to your parents about this and explain to them, go back to your cabinets, look in your refrigerator, look at the yogurts, look at the snack foods. Ask your parents to help you find how many grams of sugar are in there and then start trying to weed those things out. But I would ask you to please talk to your mommies and daddies about this in a very loving way. They love you and they are trying their best and they don't know this so they don't want you to be rude about it. Just go share with your parents what you learned about your sugar limits and try to eat healthier and see if you don't feel better and if you don't have more fun as a kid. All right, have a great day and stay tuned for more Insane Body Science with Miss Carmen.